In this video, we will learn about the heterophoria. As you know that the heterophoria is a hidden deviation which can be compensated by the mechanism of the fusion. If I see this object, the image of this object is formed on the retina of my left eye and on the retina of my right eye as well. So both of these images are fused with the help of the binocular single vision when my both of the eyes get converged. There are four different types of the heterophoria. If the eye is slightly deviated inward, this condition is called the esophoria. And if the eye is deviated outward, this is called exophoria. And if the eye is deviated upward, this is called hyperphoria. And if the eye is deviated downward, this is called hypophoria. And now we will learn that how to detect this hidden deviation which is called heterophoria. And for this, we perform a test and that is called the alternate cover test. Now the requirements for this test are a handheld occluder, the vertical and horizontal prism bars and yes the target, the fixation target which could be at distance at the 6 meter or at near at 33 centimeter. You can perform this test at distance and near as well and you need a well illuminated room. Now let's perform this test. Now we will ask the patient to fixate at the near target and now we will perform the alternate cover test and the alternate cover test is to detect the full dissociation or the full deviation. In alternate cover test we actually block the fusion of the patient. Now in alternate cover test we occlude either the right eye of the patient or the left eye of the patient. So I have occluded the right eye of the patient and now after 3 to 4 seconds I will switch the occluder in the fellow eye and I will observe the eye which is under the occluder. Now after 3 to 4 seconds I will switch in the fellow eye and now you can observe the eye which is under cover and you will observe the slightly inward movement as you see the slightly inward movement and now I will repeat the procedure I have occluded one eye and now after three to four seconds I will switch in the fellow eye and I will observe the movement in the occluded eye. You can observe the inward movement. As the eye is moving inward from outward, so it means this patient has bilateral exophoria. So in alternate cover test, if the eye is moving outward then this condition or deviation is called esophoria and if the eye is slightly moving inward from outward this condition is called or this deviation is called exophoria and if the eye is moving upward then this deviation is called hypophoria and if the eye is moving downward then this condition is called or this deviation is called hyperphoria and in the next video we will discuss about the prism cover test